This is part two of how to turn an air conditioner into a heat pump. So uh, uh, from our last episode, the main problem is that uh, the air conditioner will freeze up uh, after a relatively short amount of time. So we need some way to have it turn off the compressor and let it defrost for a while before it turns on again. So to solve this problem, I, t I uh, used an Arduino controller. So I can program a uh, electrical relay that turns on the uh, air conditioner and controls the compressor. So, but this is also a good generic uh, thing to uh, just use Arduinos for uh, like AC power control. So let me see if I can show you what I, what I did here. So I've just got this standard two game box from Home Depot here. And I've just got a, an extension cord running into it. So that supplies the power. Now at the bottom of this thing is actually the Arduino, which just happens to fit very neatly there in the bottom. So I'm gonna show you some of the pins. So we have to control the relays and I've got this relay board here for relay module. And uh, that is hooked up to the electrical outlets here. So uh, there are four relays in here. So theoretically, you could switch each one of these outlets separately if you wanted. Um, but I've just got one relay going to one side and another relay going to the other side. But I'm really only going to use the one relay. So uh, the strategy is that I have two temperature sensors here. So this is one temperature sensor. So the strategy and the other temperature sensor is over here. So one of these stays in the room and the other one goes to the uh, output where it heats. So the strategy is that uh, when this thing is working, there's going to be at least a 10 degree increase in temperature on the output. So when it goes below that, then I know that the coils are icing up and I need to just uh, turn off the compressor for a while so that it will it will defrost on its own. It will defrost on its own, okay, just using uh, the compressor. And I had to write some algorithms to do that. But so we've just got this whole thing wired up. Now, this thing uh, only has one output to the compressor. I mean to the the AC unit and that is to 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 the compressor so you are gonna have to find exactly where the leaves are that go directly to the compressor so let's go over to my new AC so this is an 8000 BTU electronic unit it's got the electronic keypad and everything so what I found is that this relay here, this relay uh, directly controls the power to the compressor. So this is the output to the compressor. And uh, this is the uh, input power for the compressor. Now what I found is that if I just uh, took out this relay and just connected up directly to these two, then the electronics would not work. And that's because the electronics are also getting the power from uh, this common terminal here. So that has to stay connected, okay? So in order to uh, bypass this relay, I put this wire around here, which essentially just, uh, just uh, sends the power directly to this terminal here. So what I need to do is I need to connect uh, one side, one side to the compressor, and uh, one side to the to the other side. So I'm going to put this here, put that there. I've got a, 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 a fuse in here just in case something crazy goes on. But um, so we put that all together. And uh, this thing is powered by a USB cord. So the USB USB, so you, you just cut a little slot in the side to gain access to all the ports. And uh, the USB just goes into here. 
So. Okay, now you're gonna need a program to, to, to do this. So I wrote a program to specifically handle this. And I'm just gonna go through it slowly. So in case you guys wanna copy it, you can see what, what, what how I did it. So I call this the heat pump. And uh, the first little bits are just a bunch of utilities for uh, doing some conversions here. So let's see if I can scroll down here. So that's the second page, third page. A little bit difficult for me to scroll down through this. So this is where the actual part of the program starts. And uh, what I'm doing here is that I'm establishing uh, which pins do what. So uh, one of the pins is doing the indoor temperature. One of the pins is doing the outdoor temperature. I'm identifying the uh, numbers for the compressors and the relays. Let's see here. Let's just go scrolling through this. I'll do one at a time. So if anybody wants to copy this, they can. Okay, so I'm defining a bunch of things. I'm de defining the uh, temperature that I want it at, like at 74 degrees, and there's a setback temperature, which is 4. So it won't turn back on until it at least reaches that difference. So this is the setup. We start with the serial begin, and that goes and sets up the serial program. We print out some stuff, and we, we set the, uh, the uh, pins. So the AC relay, I don't use the heat relay, but I use it for the compressor. And then I turn all these things off. And uh, then we're done with the setup. So the actual program, we're reading the temperature, and we can read the temperature with this DHT11 dot temperature, convert it from Fahrenheit, so that gives us the actual indoor temperature in Fahrenheit. And then I check to see whether the indoor temperature is less than this, the set temperature, minus the setback. That means we want to the room is not warm enough. We want to turn on the heater. So if the uh, AC is not already on, then we indicate that we are going to write the compressor 3 to on. And we're going to turn the uh, AC relay um, 1 on, although I don't think I used that one. Just basically, we need to turn the compressor on. And then we're going to wait for the heat to turn on. So what this does is that this uh, loops through for 3 minutes and it looks at the difference in temperature between uh, the outside and the inside temperature. So it does that to see whether it's reached uh, the, uh, the minimum difference here between the indoor and the outdoor. If it doesn't, then it's saying that uh, the defrost failed and it basically has to go wait some more. But let's see here, but otherwise, um, going on, this is the normal operation, so I'll tell you what it's, the heat temperature is, what the indoor temperature is, and what the dif temperature difference is. So we're looking to make sure we get, you know, like a 10 degree difference between the inside and the outside. And But if it isn't, then we go into this defrost mode, where we basically uh, turn the, the AC off, and then we wait... Uh, at least two seconds. There's a bunch of code that I don't use here because I did also have a an air defrost uh, option here, but I'm not using that. I'm just using air defrost. And I could have put like, like a hair dryer or something on the other relay. But we're just using air defrost here. So uh, we say that the we write the compressor to off and uh, then we wait four minutes and after we wait four minutes then we go and see whether it's it's changed in temperature sufficiently um, otherwise if the temperature is above our set temperature then we turn off the heat and then check it every five minutes or so so the ac relay one that actually controls the out the uh re the outlet that the AC is plugged into. So those are the two separate things we can control. We can control the power 
to the the AC and the compressor and I just plug the uh, AC compressor into the into the power outlet on the box so that is how I did that and so this allowed me to build a practical heat pump out of a regular air conditioner and it does actually save me a practical amount of money so that's how I did it